And after a pretty exciting weekend, a Plasma Storm booster box opening and a complete Plasma Storm set, I'm now I'm back to the battle videos. Uh, not sure really what's coming up this weekend, but uh, hopefully I'll come up with something good for you. So, uh, looks like uh, this video I am playing uh, one of my Darkrai Sableye variants. Uh, I believe this is the laser since I have the Verbank City Gym in hand. And let's see what my opponent's playing. Uh, looks like, wow, three basic Pokemon. Nice start for my opponent. Um, I've got a Juniper in hand. I've actually got a really nice start if I don't get end. So looks like uh, my opponent is playing a Crobat variant. And, uh, oh, and there goes my nice starting hand. So basically, a Crobat Dex, um, and this one has Siglyph in it too, which is a really great idea. Basically, what it does is its ability lets it draw one more, uh, lets the deck draw one more card per turn, which is great. And then its attack poisons you and puts additional damage counters on you for poison. Combine that with the Verbang City Gym. Uh, you're, you're talking about a lot of poison damage, um, just in addition to the attack damage. So, um, but he plays a stadium first, so I don't have to play mine. That'll be just Ultra Ball or Juniper Fodder later on. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, poison him with the laser. Fails on the sleep. I don't want to play my Keldeo yet, but at the same time, I need to hit an energy, and I need to just probably start thinning out my deck. Um, I put the Keldeo on there, I mean, it forces him to draw into the catcher, and I, I honestly don't know if he runs laser as far as, um, because he's got the Crobat to put poison on, he may not run laser. So, looks like I just hit the one, um, energy, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, use Confuse Ray, because with the poison, he's already taken 30 with the Burbank, and Confuse Ray will just knock him out, and I'll get an early prize card. So he puts up his Sigilyph, and he's going to catch her up, uh, Keldeo. Um, maybe he's going for the laser sleep stall, possibly. Um, I don't have the catcher in hand to be able to hit his other Crobat uh, to do the same little trick again. Uh, laser, put him to sleep. Um, or not uh, put him to sleep, but laser, and then knock him out with my Confuse Ray. But um, there's... Oh, but I have the Skyla, so I can actually take out another Crobat. Um, if I can prevent those Crobats from becoming Golbats, that's great. And I'll worry about the Sigilyphs later. Um, I'm trying to remember if this is my, uh, if this version I have uh, V-Create Victini teched in or not. Um, but right now, uh, I just need to focus on the Crobats. Um, or not the Crobats, the Zubats, before they come Crobats. Um, just in case. So let's go ahead and attach the Dark to the Keldeo so I can get that for your retreat. Um... It looks like I am not going to go for the Skyla Catcher Zubat Laser Knockout. Um, oh, yes, I am. Okay, so at first I thought I was playing the laser. So go ahead and catch her up the Zubat. Let's put the laser on it. And let's retreat back to my Sableye for the Knockout. Um... We've got a nice, uh, I've got a really nice hand. I've got, I've got the energy switch in case I need to get him onto the dark eye. Uh, I've got N, I've got Juniper. Um, probably go for a Juniper rather than N. It would probably hurt me more than anything. And I draw into another Sableye, so not bad. Now his uh, Crobat is all ready to attack, I believe. And he's going to be able to chorus for a good size hand of five, so that's not bad at all. Um... He puts down another Zubat, and hits me for 40, and uh, with the intense poison damage that it's doing, I am knocked out in one shot. So, hmm. Okay, so this is my version where I'm running uh, Bufalant. Um, this is before V Create Victini. I have one not, uh, you know, I wanted to put one non EX uh, attacker in here. And I went with the Buffalant, but it doesn't look like any of them are really going to help me out right now. So um, I'm not ready to quite energy switch yet, so we're just going to attach. Um, hmm. And uh, he's going to knock me out, but I think I better just get some lasers back uh, to be able to start putting some damage on him. So uh, do I energy switch now or later? Eh. Um, so I go with the Junk Hunt, we're going to get one laser, and I don't have any dark patches. 
but I've got a cold race. Chances are I'm going to be able to draw into some. Um, do I go for another catcher? But I think, yeah, I'm just going to go for the double laser because uh, unless I want to manually uh, work on that Buffalant, that may be my only chance on the Sigliffs. So um, this deck probably is not running any EX Pokemon whatsoever, so I'm going to have to take four more prizes. And he ends me anyways. So, um, interesting. Let's see, he's attaching an energy to the Sigliff and hits me for 40 and then I'm knocked out on poison. So, um, back up we go with my Keldeo. Problem is I'm having a hard time just keeping energy on the board. So, hmm. I try and catch her up something. Uh, it's got 110 on it. Ah, uh, this is a rough one. So, I end up just junipering the catcher because uh, I want to be able to hit as hard as I possibly can. If I can attack with, attack with the dark guy this turn, but it doesn't look like it. So, I'm gonna have to just uh, laser and just put some damage on him um, with the laser. So, hmm. He's now tied it up in prizes just by taking out a couple Sableye. So my little Zubat advantage really hasn't uh, lasted so long. Now, I'm in pretty good, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm in a pretty good position for next turn. I'll be able to get that Dark Eye up, I'll be able to knock out the Crobat, but he's retreated back to the Siglyph, and there's a laser. So he does have lasers, and he puts me to sleep, and do I wake up? Yes, I'm awake. So, excellent. And, and there's another Dark Patch. Um, and I'll be able to use Skyla for Catcher, assuming I haven't uh, run all my, uh, used all my Catchers. I think I've used two. Uh, I think I've, I've tossed out one and used one, so. Um, yep, there's a Catcher. And... Yep, and I'll probably attach that Dark to... Um, hmm, it only does 90. I might as well just take the prize on the Zubat and put another 30 on the Crobat, and then I can knock out the Dark Rye with it next turn. So let's go ahead and start working on that Buffalant, get it ready, retreat back to the Dark Rye, and that will give me another prize to get me a little bit of uh, uh, or keep me a little bit of head, and just lay all that uh, d uh, damage down on that Crobat. So next turn I will be able to one shot it. And he actually promotes the, well, a Crobat, I think, has for retreat. So he promotes the Crobat instead of the Sigilyph, which is what I expected. Um, and he's got a nice big hand of, like, what, seven? With two Sigilyph on the bench. But I am starting to slowly power up that Buffalon. Here we go with the dart, uh, or the laser. And... Now, he just hits me for 60, and then the, the damage with the poison. So, I'm going to go ahead and bench another Darkrai, or not. Um, hmm. I decide to throw out the Darkrai. Now, I've got a Colrus in hand. Uh, benching that Darkrai would have given me a lot more, but I guess I decided it was more important to get the Sableye out. Um, and I guess that makes sense, rather than with the Sigilyph. I really don't need to be focusing on Darkrai's. And having one bench would still give me a hand of six. So, hmm, I'm going to manually attach another one to Buffalant. Got three Catcher in the discard pile. So I'm going to toss out a Dark Eye and a Dark Energy and see if I have another, com uh, yep, there's another Catcher. So there's my last Catcher's Hope. Oh, I go for the Energy Switch. Oh, I'm going for Buffalant. So, okay. Uh, Buffalant plus my laser will knock it out. So um, we're going to energy switch from the Keldeo, it looks like, just to preserve that energy on Dark Ride just in case. Laser, which will put 30 on it, and then Goldbreaker, because it's only a regular Pokemon, not an EX, will do the last 60 damage it needs to knock it out. So uh, very nice, actually. That, that worked out. Um, I thought I was going to go for the Catcher and take out the knockout on the Crobat, but right. Um, I needed to take out that Sigilyph with all that damage, so that if he puts up his other Sigilyph to try and stall me out, assuming he knocks out my, my Buffalant, which doesn't look like he's going to do, um, yeah, we've got a, uh, well, how much would it do? He tool scrappers away my, my Dark Patch, puts a Mewtwo down, interesting, 
I guess an all psychic deck you might as well. And let's see, so he's doing 40, and then there's going to be six more on. Um, well, he's only doing 20 actually because my ability reduces it, so I'll still be alive for one more show. And uh, assuming I wake up, I will be able to retreat back into the Dark Rye. If not, I can always use Russian with Keldeo and either Juniper or Colris to hopefully pull into the dark energy that I need or the energy switch that I need. So, hmm. Now I'm just kind of waiting for him to finish taking his turn. Not quite sure what the, the holdup is right now. Um, maybe he's having some issues uh, tool scrappering the uh, dark, uh, or uh, not dark patch, uh, I think I said dark patch earlier. The dark claw off of my dark eye. Um, I did learn this that if uh, sometimes because of the how the energies are stacked up on your bench Pokemon, it's difficult to uh, scrap our tools away. Sometimes you just have to right click on it and that usually takes care of the problem. So it looks like he threw out um, a Mewtwo, a Crobat, a Verbank, and um, maybe something else psychic related. For a nice fresh hand, attaches the DCE, nice, to the Mewtwo, getting it nice and ready to go. Um, Hmm, I only need to take two more prizes though, and actually he's going to attack with the Mewtwo for the knockout, so very nice. Um, did not see that one coming. Now, ooh, we're going to definitely put that thing to, to hopefully to sleep, and yes, he is asleep. So, um, now, I decided to do no bro. Uh, I could have Colrus for five. That wouldn't have been bad. Um, I'm attaching a dark to the dark rye. Uh, I don't really know why I need to do that. I probably just should have gone with the. Oh well, I guess he is getting kind of close to to just getting really close on prizes. So uh, uh, put thirty on the crowbat. Put ninety on the active Mewtwo. And is that, was that a sleep flip? I believe that was a failed uh, waking up from sleep flip. So unless he has the switch, he is stuck, and I'm going to be able to take my last two prizes for the game. So we've got a, uh, what, another minute or so left in the in the video. Can he hit that switch? And, ooh, uh, ending himself to three. Um, he puts me to sleep. And he's got to hope I stay asleep and I don't draw the energy. Oh, um, I'm gonna rush in, yeah, I see, I should have, okay, so he concedes, however, um, this game, oh, he would have been knocked out from damage on poison anyways, he's got 150 on him, he gets knocked out next turn, so he realized that, and, uh, scooped, cause nine, yeah, I put 90 on, on him from Darkrai, there was 30 from poison, another 30 in between turns, and so I could have just sat there, done nothing, and, uh, rushed in just to get out of the poison, but that would have put me out, um, that, that he, his Mewtwo so would have been knocked out. So I end up winning the game on Poison. So uh, that laser flip was perfect. So hope you guys enjoyed a pretty close match. And stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm sure I'll have another one.